Just going to short this out here with the scissors. I jumped. Hey guys, this is Kevin here from ReadyMade RC. Today I'm here to talk to you about the new Strix JB 2.0 4S parallel charging board. First, let's go over some of the features. You can charge up to 10 4S packs on this parallel board safely. Each Strix parallel board comes equipped with an XT60 plug in the middle of the power line, so you can either plug it into an ISDT charger or your typical 4.0 millimeter banana connector on the same line. It features 15 amp automotive fuses for the main power line, as well as resettable poly fuses for the balance ports. Located at the top of the board, you'll see the LCD screen. This is to check your balance on each cell before you begin parallel charging, which is an important safety feature. Between the top and bottom boards, you'll notice a foam insert. This is to keep your board safe from uh, things like metal tools, any other metal object that could potentially short it out. Some of the main differences between the 1.0 and 2.0 boards are the easier layout to fit 10 batteries, the shorter XT60 plugs, and the resettable polyfuses. And now we'll demonstrate exactly how the resettable polyfuses work. You'll see this turn off over here. A little bit of sparks. And we're still good over here. I'll just restart the charge cycle. And we're back in business. On the 1.0 board, this would have burned out one of the traces, rendering it useless. That's why we added it on the 2.0 board. Now let's demonstrate the same thing on the main power line on the XT60s and we'll demonstrate how the 15 amp fuses work. You saw a flash here, it means this fuse is bad. So, you can get a pair of pliers, pull that fuse, and replace it, and this line is back in business. If you would like to learn more about parallel charging, please click on the bottom corner of the screen to go to one of Josh Bardwell's videos about how to do this safely.